Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. Uh, this video is the next part of our uh, Eleanor uh, Teak Coach project. Uh, so this is a project I started a while ago and then I uh, really didn't have much time to mess with it. I had to get some acrylic paints in as well so um, they finally came in and uh, I finally got some time to do this. So um, what I've been working on is basically this is one of the basic uh, Hornby coaches. Uh, this is not the latest and greatest. It looks like it's uh, or 435 which is the old version um, but these are basically the same uh, shell and pieces that you get from the Hornby Railroad version that I think is about 18 or 19 pounds um, I already took the ends off in the previous video uh, I dismantled the interior, we'll have to paint that and uh, as you know from the previous video I replaced the uh, bogies, or sorry the axles with uh, metal bogies in there or sorry, to pokies with metal axles. Um, so just to give you a, a recap of what I had picked up, I picked up uh, a full rake of uh, LNUR T coaches. This is a uh, or uh, 435. I'm not sure if the box there. We can tell from the Hornby box, it's uh, the uh, much older version. And uh, now, Dave and a few other guys have done this technique, and it's worked out pretty well for him. So I'm going to go uh, give it a shot. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of concerned about is making sure I get the paint and water mix right so that I don't uh, lose the transfers here. Um, now Graham Faustin has uh, a couple of videos where he modified uh, the newer versions, the ones that were about 50 pounds pop. Um, he says he got them on sale for about 25 pounds and that's not too bad but it's still pretty expensive for a couple bits of plastic. Um, especially when you can get these ones that are just as good and uh, modify them. And he actually had to modify them to make them look pretty good anyway. So I think uh, this might be the, the better option. Uh, plus I couldn't find where he had, he said they were on sale. So anyway, so uh, what I'm going to use is uh, this uh, Olympic Maximum Sealant. And this is uh, Canyon Brown. Uh, I used it to seal part of my fence uh, a couple of years ago. It's been sitting in the garage for a while. So I had a, a couple of tins of this. So I'm going to go... Uh, give it a shot. Uh, there's enough in there to do all the coaches which is good. And uh, Now what I'm using to mix the paint with um, is one of these uh, Yankee candles. So I know my wife uh, has a bunch of these so they come with this uh, when they're used up they have these kind of plastic or sorry glass um, kind of lids on them and the, the candle thing itself is uh, glass so don't want to really mess with the jar but the lid off the, the mini jars uh, works well for mixing paints as does the, the larger ones actually. So um, that's what I'm going to be using, and hopefully it uh, it works out. All right, so I'm going to go uh, pour this into there, which right now just has a bit of water and a bit of paint thinner in it, and uh, we'll see what kind of results I get just with this. I'm going to do uh, some testing on the uh, end here. It's basically the same color, so I can see what kind of result I get. And then um, if it works and it doesn't mess up the transfers, I'll go ahead and paint the whole coach. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll start mixing in paint until I get something that looks good, and I'll tell you guys what I mixed in. Alright, so I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll uh, show you the results in a little bit. Alright, we're back with uh, been a couple of hours, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good. So here on the left, we have the uh, painted version with the uh, kind of uh, wood stain that uh, I had in the garage, and then here on the right, we have the original untouched version, so I had a couple of these coaches, so I thought I'd just do a kind of quick comparison so you could see the difference. Um, I will pan the camera up if it will cooperate. I have to uh, loosen it a little bit. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see it's still drying, uh, but you can see that there is uh, quite a big difference between the two. And uh, you can see there on the right hand side, um, what I ended up doing was uh, pouring the kind of a wood stain paint uh, directly into a uh, old uh, Chinese food container. So it was a pretty good Chinese restaurant uh, down the road from me. So, um, well, when I say down the road, it's about two miles, three miles away. But um, it's the closest one to me. But they uh, they provide these kind of pretty good plastic containers, so we keep those. Um, so what I did was I poured eh, probably about two millimeters deep, maybe three millimeter deep um, of paint in there, and then I used about a, a quarter of a cup of water 
and I mixed it up uh, really, really well. And um, once I was happy with that mix, that's what I applied to the coach. Um, I didn't apply any other paint. Um, I experimented with that, and adding the other paint just seemed to um, either make it too dark or, or too light. So um, I just left the other paint out, wasn't really needed, and I went straight with that, uh, that canyon brown kind of uh, tint that it had. Um, now, the, the paint itself before I put water in it was really, really, really brown, um, but once I added water to it, it kind of made it have that kind of uh, teak look. And uh, this is probably still wet, as you can see from the gloss that's on it, um, but yeah, I'd say when it dries it, it should look pretty decent since uh, it doesn't dry glossy. Um, so I will uh, check it out in the morning and if it uh, looks good I'll paint the other side and I'll start painting up the other coaches and hopefully by the end of the weekend I'll actually have a decent rake of these things. Alright so that's it for this part. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.